Good evening. Welcome to California Seismograph. We just experienced a 3.6 earthquake in Southern California. It's been quiet for a while. Uh, this is a great earthquake to uh, do a little bit of uh, explanation about. The earthquake occurred, so it's, uh, it's at 6.40. Just about right now, there it shows up on Lake Matthew first. And we also see directly the Muscoe Valley and our seismograph picks it up. Uh, if you notice, our uh, current needle setting is 700. It usually is about 500. That's why we actually have a nice little movement on it. The uh, lower end, or the uh, ground motion sensor, uh, the current needle setting is 300. And as you see, that's the bottom left. It's not much of a, an, uh, an, a move on that needle. So what's neat about it is if you look up at the uh, Lake Matches and Temesco Valley, our digital sensors, you notice that the actual earthquake looks a lot shorter than the one that shows up on our sensor here in Garden Grove. And that's true. What you actually see is, uh, is the direct physical evidence of that the sensors up in Lake Matthews, which is a, a very much harder surface area, there's a rock, much of a, a rock ground there, as well as the Mesco Valley. Uh, the Mesco Valley has a little bit more of a rumble in the, in the uh, lower end of that. You see that uh, echoes out a little bit. And so looking back at our Garden Grove sensor, our um, surface motion sensor, you see that that earthquake looked like it took about a minute and a half. And that's correct. Because what happens is it's the vibration of the soft soil that causes it to bounce back and forth. And this is what uh, they also talk about uh, liquefaction, uh, the fact that uh, soft soil with a lot of water in it might cause the earthquake to uh, continue to bounce back and forth and cause water to come up to the uh, surface of uh, the soil. So what can we uh, compare this with? Thunder, thunder and lightning. If you ever have noticed thunder and if you ever have experienced thunder, in the mountains, you might have uh, uh, found out that it echoes and it bounces back and forth, and it sounds like the thunder goes on forever. <laughs> However, it was just the same thunder as if you have it in an open field, and it is just one solid bang, and it's, it's pretty much gone after that. And so that's a good comparison with uh, these earthquakes, if you look how they react to the ground soil. And that's where you see the difference in the amount of translated a pen movement uh, on the uh, Lake Matthews, Temesco Valley versus our Garden Grove sensor. So with that said, here it is on the right top, you might uh, witness now that showed up as a 3.6, oh, sorry, 3.6 in Luzerne Valley at exactly uh, 6.40 p.m. Well, we hope uh, you enjoyed this little video and let's hope we keep it small <laughs> like these. It's uh, great to have one and uh, be able to have some uh, education about it. Hope you have a good evening. Subscribe if you have not yet, and you'll get more of our videos uh, automatically. Give us a thumbs up. That always helps us. We greatly appreciate it. So we wish you a great night and hope to speak to you soon again.